find the exact value of the sine and cosine of theta over 2. So I'm going to give you some information about theta, and that's that the cosine of theta is negative square root of 6 over 3. And you're also told that theta is between pi and 3 pi over 2. So that's important to know, first of all, because cosine can be negative in two quadrants. So now we know that it's in the third quadrant. Another reason we need to know that is because theta is between pi and 3 pi over 2. So we need to know where is theta over 2 in between. So dividing everything by 2, theta over 2 is between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 4. In other words, that's going to be in the second quadrant. Okay, so that means that the sine of theta over 2, because you're in the second quadrant, is going to be a positive square root. And then the cosine of theta over 2, because you're in the second quadrant, cosine is going to be negative. So we always have to keep in mind where we are. Okay, so then for the sine of theta over 2, we're going to have 1 minus the cosine of the angle, which is given. So we don't need to draw a triangle because we don't need to find anything else. So 1 minus that minus, this becomes plus, square root of 6 over 3, over 2. For the cosine of theta over 2, again, the negative out front. So then we're going to have 1 minus, or I'm sorry, 1 plus, the negative, so it becomes minus. 1 over 2. So now at this point we just need to clean everything up. So I want to clear out these fractions that are in the numerator. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by a 3 inside the radical. So we're going to get 3 plus the square root of 6 over 6. For the cosine we're going to get negative. And then 3 minus the square root of 6 over 6. Okay, when I go to take the square root of the top and bottom, I'm going to end up with the square root of 6 on the bottom, which means I'll have to rationalize. So let me take care of that right now. Still inside of the radical, I would multiply by 6 over 6. So the bottom would be 36, you know, make it a little bit easier. So then distributing that 6, we're going to have 18 plus 6 square root of 6 over 36. For the cosine, we're going to have our negative, and then 6 minus, I'm sorry, 18 minus. 6 squared to 6 over 36. One more step. Square to top and bottom. So we're going to have the square root of 18 plus 6 squared to 6 all over 6. And for cosine, we're going to have negative 18 minus 6 squared to 6 all over 6.